Hey guys, so today we are going to be talking about this deck and if you don't follow me on Facebook, you should follow me on Facebook because I'm going to use Facebook much more than I currently have been using it. So let's talk about two Bramazes, four Crackling Dooms, um, let's just go to the, we'll go to the base later. Two Murderous Cuts, one in Hostilities, main deck, Storm Breath, Dragon Speaker. So would I go up more? I don't know. I'm testing. I'm not positive. Stoke the Flames. Yes, I would use more. Ascot Phoenix. Very underrated card. Uh, I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Surprisingly, right? One other end. Four Banzing Lights for the Elspeth because you cannot deal with Elspeth. I went down to two of these. I love, love this card, but in this deck, like the, it's not the land base isn't great. For Hero's Downfall, and one of the reasons you <laughs> even play red, and then the second reason you play red, uh, for Lightning Strikes, and for Goblin Rabble Masters, and for Magma Jets. Magma Jets are very good. So you notice there's not any one drops like I typically like. But what can you do? Free Battle, Field Forge, and now White. The red part is very important because a lot of times you need the red to play your cards on that turn. Three Temples of Silence, four no Nomad, one Orgbog, one Swamp, two Mountains, four <laughs> Bloodstained Mirrors. A lot of times the mirrors don't get anything because you already looked for, but that's okay. I mean, you're a very aggro deck. And four Temples of Malice. It's a very good deck. I, I like it. It's fun. It's like, I mean, my other deck won more than this deck, but this deck is pretty good too. I'm going to go ahead and say it's like 16 and 2, but I just lost like, ugh, finals. It's not good in finals. Harness by 4. So let's talk about this card. This card is very, very good. Um, you are playing dragons and arbory class classos or what, what are they? And you're playing a lot of big creatures. Now, this is one of the ways that you can beat in with their big creatures and then attack with yours. Uh, even getting a goblin rabble master assuming that you had one in the field and your opponent had one in the field and you steal theirs and they're tapped out by definition and then you attack with all your goblins, well, that's pretty good. I mean, I steal a ton of Rabble Masters and they are just fantastic targets to steal, especially if you have one yourself. In Hostilities, um, obviously that's the Wrath effect. Very, very good. One of the deck cards that you can never deal with is Corsair Crew Fix. That card gives you headaches, and that's probably why you would play green, just like Rabble Master. You would play green because it's Corsair um, and aggro. So red deck wins is a huge part of my local meta because, I, honestly, I think the deck is very cheap and it wins a lot. So these are my five cards against red deck wins. Sideboard is pretty good. The deck itself functions very well. Uh, the mana base I just fixed recently. Uh, uh, honestly, you don't... I used to have Oxys and then the Spearheaded Dude, which I love. I love that card. And I took a lot of cards I love to just make it stronger, and this deck just wins more. Like, there's no... Expl and a lot of you say, like, oh, this deck doesn't win, this deck doesn't win. And it's kind of like, well, yeah, it does, right? And... It's not only the deck, it's also the player, right? The uh, I would say my locals, my two locals, one is a little bit more competitive than the other one. But when you have like $80 or $100 in store credit up, essentially like booster box every night, but in store credit, so it's even better. Yeah, a lot of people will be extremely competitive. Um, so yeah, I don't know. It's a tough place to play at, and this deck does very well. Bye, guys.